topic is we're just going to get it out of the way. Superman Legacy is is the f- first real um, piece of the puzzle, right? Of this whole, you know, blueprint for James Gunn. And we always knew and we always have thought that Superman should be the first piece of a DC puzzle and should be the most important piece. And it seems like James Gunn knows that. And we do have a little bit of infinite. Uh, I'm just going to give little synopsises about these things. And then we're going to just give our thoughts on what we think of this decision. So Superman Legacy Gunn is currently writing the screenplay and Saffron is hopeful the filmmaker will also direct the DC movie. So hoping that Gunn is going to write and direct. Set to come out currently on July 11th, 2025. Expect that to change around all kinds of times. Um, Superman Legacy will not be an origin story, but will focus on Clark's struggle to balance his superhero life with his human one. The story will also explore Superman being a beacon of kindness and a world that believes kindness is old fashioned. So, uh, you know, we've always said and we've always known and kind of agreed, right, Lucas, that um, Superman is the ultimate comic book character, right? He is the the comic. I mean, he's Superman. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. And the first comic and, book. And, you yeah. know, we've always wanted, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, the Man of Steel movie. I think it's very underrated and, and you know, one of my underappreciated. Mm-hmm. Um. And we've always wanted, but it still wasn't the Superman that we really, you know, wanted and and that I really want. And the Superman that I really want is that Superman that is a beacon of kindness. So that really gives me a lot of hopefulness to hear those kind of words Um, like, you know, that in a world where it has become old fashioned to know that we still have the Superman, right, who will remain old fashioned as long as kindness remains good. And it always will. Right. So this is really um, cool. I do like that. We're not going to do another origin story. We've, we've done it enough. You know, it's kind of like when they rebooted um, Spider-Man, you know, in the MCU, you know, we didn't need to see uncle Ben die for a third time. You know, um, it wasn't necessary. So we didn't need those things. So we went without them. And that's what we're doing here. It looks like that this will be kind of, he's already been Superman and now he's Clark can't struggling to balance that these two worlds i love it um i hope james gunn directs it i honestly can't see him not directing it especially since he's writing the screenplay um again expect that july 11 2025 date to jump all around it still may be within the, a couple of months of that but i expect it to jump all around lucas you're hearing this uh superman legacy is is the first piece of the puzzle what are your thoughts um Superman is my favorite superhero, if, you know, we're not aware. So I'm really stoked about this. I am obviously still kind of beat up, you know, a little sad over losing Henry Cavill. But this does make things easier, that I only have to wait two. We got a date, July 11th, 2025. I mean, we don't have anybody cast yet. We don't have even a director um, or anything. but, But this is good. At least, you know, even if it won't be Henry Cavill... I'm going to get a Superman movie soon, and that's awesome. And, of course, it should. I mean, your his new – the new plan, sh- uh, absolutely, it makes sense to start with Superman. I know that um, the, there's a couple TV shows, and obviously we're going to get into them, um, but The Waller and I think Creature Commandos is like a – it's like a prologue, right? And then Superman is the first part of the, you know, chapter, Gods and Monsters, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so pretty cool. I I don't know. I love Superman so much, right, that I'm kind of nervous about the idea of James Gunn directing it. I mean, I'm already even timid on him writing it just because I don't want him to, like, suicide squat it. I don't want it to take it to— To be like Scooby-Doo. Right. Which he also wrote. Right. I want, <laughs> you know, I, I want elements of that, you sure, know, yeah, but, yeah. but I don't want it to be over the top. That being said, from what you were just reading there, I think he gets the point of it, and and I, I'm a little more trusting it of it in his hands. Like overall, I mean, as the executive producer, I knew he was going to do great. I knew he was going to do justice. I just meant with his personal, like individual James Gunn style of directing a Superman movie, I was more, I was pretty iffy on it. Mm-hmm. Hearing that, I feel a lot better. Um, it's great. I I can't wait to see who they 
cast James Gunn if you're looking. I, you know, I'm not. I'm five eight, but I would love to play Superman. I'm a small Kansas boy. You know? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited, and I can't wait to uh, hear more about this as it comes, you know, starts rolling along. So um, he said he should be finishing the script up here for the next uh, month or two. So hopefully we hear more after that. Guys, you guys have had a chance to check this out. Superman Legacy is where Gunn's starting this whole thing off. What are your guys' thoughts? Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below.